little bug. Mm. So this one you're going to want to do as many times as you can while she's this small. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm going to grab this. This is a bit more comfortable. Okay. She got to do this.
Just trying to get her away. Yeah. And Huskies are, uh, I know she's not a Husky, and Huskies are notorious for not wanting to be handled. You really think you're killing the dog. <laughs> you touch them in any way. Yeah. And then at the end, I want to make sure they're still calm. Okay, and so if she struggles, I'll just stop until she's calm. Stop. <laughs> So when you go somewhere, that's what we do. Somebody holds her on the left because she's Still? not yeah. <laughs> in the pond anymore. And uh, so one day I was going to take her somewhere in the truck and I put her in a crate yeah. in the truck. Oh my God. She howled and howled and howled and howled the whole time. <laughs> and I, so I actually put her on ear protection so loud. And, uh, so uh, we brought the crate today. We were thinking, uh, I was thinking about putting it in the crate and going home and going back. What do you think about it? Yeah, especially now that she's tired. Exactly. Yeah. If you if you wanted to put, do you have like a toy, like a bone to put that back there with her or anything she's like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll do that. Something that like self soothes. Did you want to try this, Jim? I, I don't need to. Okay. I, mean, I can see how it's happening. And he holds her a lot. All he has to do yes. is put her over and. So, I mean, I don't mind. That was a good girl. Yes, a good girl. It's good to do that one while like you can now, just to get her used to being there. Yeah. To get her a little bit saddling and. That's such a great bonding thing as well. Yeah. yeah. This is how I get them ready for when I do their nails, too. Yeah. Yeah. Nails. Yeah, exactly. I'll pinch the little ends of them. 
before I get the clippers out. It doesn't get them completely ready, but more prepared than they are if you don't do it. Yeah. You've been debating whether or not those ears will still stand up. Oh, I bet they will. I, have, I haven't yet seen a German Shepherd whose ears don't. Is Greta, are Greta's ears standing up? Hers were very floppy. They're, they're up and down, up and down. Yeah, still? <laughs> we have a neighbor, though, that has a shepherd, and his ears do not stand up. Yeah. Leo. His name's Leo. And He's a brute. He's a big. He's a big. He's a big. Yeah. 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 You, you got to love your great big German shepherds. <laughs> yeah. Or little ones. I like, I like Shana's tiny, and I like that because it's less stress on her joints. She's like 55 to 60 pounds on her. Yeah. We think she's probably going to be 70. Oops. Yeah. And that's about what Bristol was. Yeah. Um, Wasn't Bristol only 70 pounds? Mm -hmm. She had so much fur, she seemed so much bigger. Yeah. She was only 70. Are those her? Are those her big girl teeth in the back? Probably. The molars are probably adult teeth. She's had things back there. She's, you know, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's yes. probably when they're falling out. I looked. I found one of the crystals. You like, don't. They usually either swallow them or, you know, they're, yeah. Yeah. or you end up vacuuming them up, up yeah. somewhere, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some. Wow, that was fun, huh? <laughs> that was fun. You're a good girl. So you can see with puppies, we do a lot of calming things. Yes. Yes. They have, yeah. they have to learn how to count down. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like it that, you know, you're quiet and you don't react. And yeah. I, you know, I, I need to learn that. Well, it came from learning from other people before me, you know, and having to learn it myself. Yeah. You know? But it does benefit, tends to benefit the dogs a lot more. Because like I said, they'll think it's a, like if your dog's barking and you start shouting at them, they think you're barking along with them. They don't realize that you're trying to shut them up if you keep yelling at them. That's you know? another thing she'll do if you ignore her. Yeah. She'll bark at yeah. yeah. And, and the thing to do is to, is to continue to ignore her. Uh, well, I usually put them in the crate, yeah. But there are, there are ways that you could even get that faster. Um, like... If my dog's barking in the crate, I'll literally set my chair up next to them, and uh, when they're quiet, I'll give them a treat. Oh, oh, good. Give them a treat. And then, so once they get that, then I'll wait, want it to be longer, longer extended periods of time. So there's ways to make it easier for them, but yeah, usually if you just ignore them until they're all spent, they'll yeah. learn that, and, and never works. Well, and never uh, rescue them. Right. Whatever right. <laughs> they're barking about. I was telling her no about something, and she just started barking at me. And I said, well, is that how I sound to you? <laughs> That's command barking. She, She's just... I want. That's I want barking. Yeah. But we can go over that quiet command, too, and, and all of those things. Okay. Yeah. This will be a good opportunity to stuff her on her crate. Yeah. Well, we'll try it. Because she's, she's probably, maybe she's too tired now to put up much of a fight. Did you bring any air protection? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? 